Hi everyone, it's Lucinda Curran here from Eco Health Solutions and I have the honour to chat with one of the speakers from the Environmental Health Conference, Professor Mark Cohen. Hi Mark, how are you? Hi Lucinda, I'm great, thank you. That's good. Now the first question, and we're just going to jump straight in if that's okay, could you tell us a little bit about what you do? Well I do a lot of things. Um, currently I'm a professor at RMIT, Professor of Health Science, and I mainly supervise PhD students and do research and education in the field of wellness. So um, I'm very involved with research in a lot of areas of environmental health. Uh, uh, I'm supervising Nicole Bilsma, uh, her PhD, so we're doing a lot of research into you know, the built environment, looking at um, electromagnetic fields, looking at how we assess chemical um, load in clinical practice, and trying to understand um, how clinicians, but also how the public, can reduce their um, exposure to toxic chemicals and radiation etc in their life. Uh, I've also very involved with research into other environmental sort of manipulation so like looking at saunas and hot springs and herbal teas and detoxification and health retreats and um, different aspects of lifestyle and looking at elite athletes and how they um, uh, use their lifestyle to enhance their performance and um, yeah doing um, health and wellness related uh, education so yeah I do it's, lots. It's fabulous it's so broad what you actually look at and I know that you're just so passionate about all of it so that's wonderful. So th yeah well I'm doing a lot of writing at the moment as well so I mean I write I write textbooks and I'm actually right now I'm really excited because I'm writing children's books um, which have an educational um, component to them so yeah it's, it's exciting time for me. How fantastic excellent so what piqued your interest in environmental health? Well, I've always been interested in the environment, um, looking at the natural environment. Um, I'm really interested in water, um, in all the aspects of water. And I've spoken before at the International Conference on the Physics, Chemistry and Biology of Water um, and bathing and sauna bathing and mineral bathing and, and all of those sort of things and understanding how we can change our environment, um, whether it's from growing plants um, inside, outside, looking at air quality. And, and I've done it for selfish reasons, because I want to know how I can be happy and healthy and live myself in a healthy environment. And, I've, and I've, I guess I've specialised in some of the most healthy environments on earth, where I look at health retreats and look at these you know, environments that are actually consciously built to maximise health and well-being. And, but then how do you bring sort of that specialised health and well-being um, design elements and features into just everyday life? That's fantastic. And I love that you get to use yourself as a guinea pig. It's an added Absolutely. bonus. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. So can you tell us a little bit about your topic for the conference? Well, I'm going to talk about how you tame your toxic load. And there's um, you know, so many different toxic exposures that we're all um, susceptible to. And I'm not going to talk about so much how um, you know, each one of those. And I've got other lectures where I've talked about the 10 toxic truths about toxicity and how it's everywhere and you know, the dose increases and you know, biomagnification. But in this talk, I'm going to talk about your channel of elimination. And I call them the five Bs. And that's your bladder, your bowel, your breath, your body and your brain. And how you can open up those chan channels of elimination to reduce toxicity um, mainly chemical toxicity, I mean, I'll touch on when you talk about your brain, um, how you can consciously choose different products and services that minimise your toxic exposure. And that's probably the most effective thing because it's, um, you know, your brain decides what products you're going to buy and how you configure things and where you live, how you live. Um, but I'm also going to touch on, you know, um, your body, like sweating and, and you know, um, detoxification through sweat and hot and cold. Um, I'm going to talk about breathing, I'm going to talk about food and also um, your bladder, you know, water. So those, those sort of five elements of life and five elements of um, uh, detoxification. That's fantastic. I'm really excited to hear much more about that. And apart from hearing that, why else would people want to come to the conference, the Environmental Health Conference? Well, I mean... If people want to be healthy, if they want to know, and, and it's interesting because often people can be quite sick and um, not at, not functioning at an optimal level. And there are these really simple, really inexpensive, you know, life hacks or just changes they can make to their life that will make a huge difference, but they don't necessarily know about them. 
And that's what this conference is about. It's what, what are the, what's the low lying fruit? What are the simple things you can do to your life? And often it's to your environment that you weren't aware of, that if you change, it makes a big impact on your health. So there's one thing, you know, often you'll go to a doctor and they'll, if you've got a health condition, they'll you know, focus on different, you know, quite expensive and involved interventions. But unless you've actually, you know, addressed the, you know, the very simple causative issues that you know, are lying often in your bedroom or your lounge room or your cupboards, um, unless you address that, you're not really going to, you know, to fix the thing. And often to, to, to actually address it is really inexpensive and simple. So, and that, I think that's what we're going to focus on in the conference. How can we tweak our environments to support our health? And then that then has a, a downstream ripple effect to not just our own life, but to the lives of our families um, and our communities. Thank you so much. And thank you for your time here today. And also thank you in advance for the time at the conference. I know it's going to be incredible. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and being part of it and, and learning a lot myself. I'm always, you know, wanting to know more, as I say, use myself as a guinea pig. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Fantastic. And everybody, if you'd like to come and join us at the Environmental Health Conference, grab your ticket now. The link's just down below.